Ever wondered how shoulder joint replacement surgery is actually performed? Let's break it down in under 70 seconds. First, the patient is placed under anesthesia and a precise incision is made over the shoulder to access the joint. The damaged parts of the shoulder, usually the head of the humerus, the upper arm bone, and sometimes the socket, are carefully removed. The surgeon then reshapes the bone and fits a metal ball onto the humerus, often using a stem that goes inside the bone for support. If the socket needs replacing, a smooth plastic component is cemented or pressed into place to allow smooth movement. In cases of reverse shoulder replacement, the positions of the ball and socket are switched to rely on different muscles, which helps in patients with severe rotator cuff damage. After everything is aligned and secured, the incision is closed and the healing begins. It's a mix of precision, engineering, and anatomy. Restoring mobility and relieving pain. Cool, right?